Hi Sharon, I'm going to start with taking a look at the site here. I'm just going to do a video so we can run through and see if what we're seeing here is the most recent information. When you said refresh, I'm assuming you've updated the page, you uploaded it to the server, but you're still seeing old information. Now there's a couple things that can happen. Um, first of all, it depends on what you've updated in the page. If it's a component like the slider, uh, sometimes folks will update just the slider, the library asset itself, and upload that to the server, when in fact you need to upload the page that the asset is included in, such as the index page itself. So that's just number one, and you, you, may, know that, you may know that already, So, but I'm just sort of confirming what the common issues may be. Uh, number two is when you upload a page, uh, sometimes it's cached by the server. It's called FTP caching, and maybe 15-20 minutes um, before you see it. It's not very often that happens. That's sort of lower on the list of things. Um, the most common issue is, uh, other than uploading the library asset is instead of the page that the asset is in, is actually the web browser you're using. Um, um, if you're testing or viewing the site with Internet Explorer, I really suggest you uh, work uh, use Firefox and Chrome. Uh, they have a better or, or a better refresh. But even that, IE with a live site is better than testing IE locally, so it should still be okay. But um, anyways, let's just let me know what you updated, and I can sort of pinpoint in with a video and a screenshot to show you what I'm seeing, so we can pinpoint whether it's an issue with your browser. Or if it's uh, like if I see something that's updated and you don't, then it may maybe pinpoint to a browser-related issue, um, something stuck in your browser. But yes, I do know the code that you're referring to to automatically refresh. It's a meta tag. Um, I can put that in there. Help help put that in there for you if you like. Um, let me just check to see the code if it's in there already. Yeah, I just looking at the source code. I'm not seeing anything that uh, I'm not seeing the meta refresh. Um, that I would be looking for, um, because typically it's a meta tag, meta refresh. I'm sorry, I had to pause the video and do a little more research on that because the uh, I'm not really sure what the database your your program fired over to you in terms of code. But if you need any help uh, popping it into the head of the page, because there's different ways of doing it. There's scripts that sort of automatically try to refresh or no cache um, but not caching a page what I want to make sure is we if it's something that's just affecting you and your web browser then we want to make sure that whatever we do doesn't affect everybody else negatively is, is what I'm thinking um, here's a here's a something I'm going to suggest first Could check your website from a different computer right um, sometimes that makes a big difference. Uh, if it's a, if it's something local to your computer only, then it's something that you know maybe you need to uninstall and reinstall, or update your browser, or use different web browsers for checking it out. But if you go to another computer and the changes are there, then I'd suggest that you don't be adding tags and scripts to automatically refresh because then you're just solving the problem for yourself when really the problem is within something on your computer. Um, but I, I just caution on doing, uh, on trying to fix something that's really not broken uh, in terms of if it's the website and the server and everything that in that respect are doing what they're supposed to do and there's just an issue with the actual browser or something in your computer's, your browser's cache that's stuck or whatnot, make sure you clear your browser cache out. Go with, especially if you're using IE, especially with IE, clear that cache out because that can cause all, there's little things that can get stuck in there that can cause problems. So anyways, I just wanted somewhere to start with. Let me know what was updated um, and let me know if when you check from another computer, right, what I would do is I would check from another computer to see if your updates are visible. If they are, make another update somewhere. Just change something in the site like the... Uh, you know, the copyright, the year down here, change your copyright year or something like that, and then republish your index page back up to the server. Then go back to that same computer, refresh the browser, right? Like go in Firefox, there's a little refresh button right here. Just reload the page, right? And then see if that change takes place. And if it does, that's great. So then you know that it actually, everything's working as it should, but maybe it's just something local to the browser you're using on your computer. And then at least we can pinpoint where the problem's coming from.